Hi, in this quick video you'll learn how to enable SSH in Home Assistant. The whole process takes just 4 easy steps. SSH stands for Secure Shell. It is a cryptographic internet protocol for remotely logging to another computer in the same network. Home Assistant is an open source home automation platform written in Python. It is perfect to run on Raspberry Pi. I have already installed Home Assistant, so now I just need to install and enable SSH. SSH is available for Home Assistant through an add-on. Out of the box, this add-on is not visible unless we have enabled the advanced mode. Open Home Assistant web interface in a browser. From the left menu, click on the account with your name and enable advanced mode. Step number two is to install the terminal and SSH add-on. Open Supervisor, click on the tab for add-on store, search for terminal and SSH. After that, click the Install button. Please wait until the installation completes. Step number three is to configure the SSH server in Home Assistant that we have just installed. You can either configure login with SSH keys or with a password. It is recommended to use SSH keys. However, in this particular video, I'm going to use a password because it's easier. For the demo purposes, I'm setting the password to test. The second mandatory configuration on this step is the network. Configure the port to 22, which is the default port for SSH. The final step is to launch the SSH client in Home Assistant. This is super easy. Just click the start button. On the bottom of the add-on page, you'll find the SSH lock. Click the refresh button to see the latest output. If everything looks OK, we can give it a try and log in remotely to our Home Assistant server via SSH. Pretty much all GNU Linux distributions and Mac OS have built-in SSH client. Just open a terminal, type SSH root at the host of your Home Assistant to log in remotely and of course type in the password that we have configured in the previous step. For homework, if you want you can set up SSH keys instead of a password. As an open source enthusiast, I'm using Linux, more precisely Ubuntu. In the terminal, the syntax of the SSH client command is username at the host, for example, root at the IP address of your home assistant server. One more thing for Microsoft Windows users. There are numerous SSH client applications that you can install and use. Probably the most popular free SSH client for Windows is Putty. It has a graphical user interface to simplify the initial setup. It's really straightforward. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Have a look at my other quick video tutorials. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for new videos.